This one's called the Libilula, I think. Honestly, I don't know how to pronounce it. If anyone wants to correct me on the pronunciation or if there's a different name that you know for it, feel free to fill me in on that. I can't keep track of all the poll names, sorry. So this is a fun one because no inverting required, all levels, all flexibility. You can have the back leg straight, back leg bent, whatever. Um, and also, I really like this one because it doesn't involve holding on with your hands. Um, anyone who's pulled much with me, I have terrible grip strength. It's dismal. Um, old nerve damage injuries from fighting days. But um, I like anything elbows. Elbows are my jam because I feel like I can hold on forever. Doesn't matter if I'm slippy, sweaty, whatever. Okay, so for this one, um, we're going to take it from like a figurehead kind of position here. Okay. Um, and then from here, let's kind of break down where it's going from the ground. I recommend trying it from the ground first so you kind of know where it's going before you climb it up. Um, once you're in your figurehead position, your outside hand is holding. Don't reach too high because you're not going to be able to get through. So just a little bit above head level. Okay. The inside arm is going to snake through. And when you snake through, think of not just coming straight, but reaching away because that will help the shoulder get through a little bit farther. Okay. So reach across, turn your chest away, and then the arm is going to circle back, stick your butt out, and you're gonna grab your thigh, okay? Where you grab on your thigh is up to you, and here's the other part of this. It's not so much that I'm like grabbing a handful, it's more so that my hand is actually pushing my leg into the pole. So don't worry so much about like whether you get this, 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 depending on thighs, um, width, depending on arm length, all those things. There's so many variables for all of us. Um, think instead more of just smushing your leg to the pole, okay? So basically we're creating some leverage. This arm comes through and my hand is just pushing down. So I'm increasing the contact point of this leg and maintaining it with this, okay? So like I said, don't feel like you need to like get a full thigh hold, okay? So to get into that, when we're in the figurehead here, or masthead, whichever you want to call it. Um, when I sneak the arm back, if I don't stick my butt back, I'm going to have a hard time grabbing. So you want to think about sitting your butt down, and then it's going to be easier to grab that thigh hold right there. Okay. So once that feels comfortable, it's up to you whether you release the front leg or the back leg first. Um, I would recommend if this is a newer trick to you, try releasing one, make sure that feels okay. Rehook that leg release the other leg, make sure that feels okay. Then from there, if you open both, decide whether to release the top arm. Um, one little word of warning, it does not feel amazing on your forearm, okay? So you'll get kind of a nice pull kiss right here. I don't feel it anymore, but you know how it goes. Usually in the beginning, new trick, there's that desensitization phase. Okay, so let's take, just taking a little bit up, look at what the, how we're gonna get into this. So. From here, okay? Inside arm, sneak through. Stick my butt back, sit down, grab this leg. Back leg, fine. Front leg, that's the one that I wanna feel that push into the pole. If that feels okay, release this one. If you want, grab the back leg and extend. Legs can be bent, straight, whichever. To come back out, try to re-grab, re-hook that leg, and then you can come out back to ice skater, you can reverse back to the figurehead, whatever you want to do, okay? You can try out how this grip feels just from the ground, no climbing needed. Bring this leg up, okay? And I am gonna feel contact point here, okay? Also that thigh and then definitely that forearm. You can see I even have a little red spot there, okay? So just from the ground, if the leg comes up, you don't wanna have it down here, try to bring it up so it's parallel-ish, okay? Grab on with that top arm and just see how that feels, okay? Doesn't feel amazing, um, but it gets better, trust me. Okay, so, so I love everything on spinning pole, so let's take a look and see what it looks like getting into it all the way on spin. Okay, up to you how high up you wanna take it. Going into masthead, inside arm sneaks through, my butt sticks back, I grab that thigh, open, optional, grab that back leg, and hold to come out. We hook, we hook, and down. Okay, so like I said, I believe it's called a libelula. Um, play around with that. I love it on spinning pole because you get to see it from all the angles. Depending on how bendy you want to get into it, you can start to put your head back into it, make it more back bendy, or you can just make it a split. So try this one out. Let me know how it goes.